what to do with the runaway jihadi bride who now wants to come home and have baby. Ali in Slough, what should happen, Ali? Good morning. She should be allowed to come back to the country. Good morning. Good morning. Despite the fact she would appear to show no remorse at all and she could well have committed a criminal act. Well, look, there are many people that may well have committed criminal acts. She was a child when she left this country. She's a citizen of this country. Like any citizen who ends up being stranded or marooned anywhere in the world, they should be entitled to come back. Right. I, I say again, although she's been a willing participant and, according to some sources, could even possibly be the next generation of IS, however it wants to identify itself or change its, change its appearance. And she could also be somebody who's going to recant, recant and repent. Well, and she's not. No, I'm so sorry. Back. She clearly doesn't repent uh, because she's so specific. I don't regret coming here, she says. She has no regret whatsoever. She's still, she's still a child. And she's not. She's 19. Are, she's still a child. She's not. She said you have to be what we no, call... I don't want to assimilate. Uh, Why should I have to assimilate? Who are you to tell me to assimilate? They call him to stay. Why are you... I don't want to assimilate. Back. You... Why do you, you want, want me to assimilate? To assimilate? Let's, let's, let's listen. She's 19. She's old enough to go to war, to marry, to do whatever else she has to do at 19. And, and, the, and the simple point here is that either we take a uniform approach to people like this. Martin McGuinness shook the hands of the Queen, who he tried to kill, didn't recognise, bombed her government, bombed the, uh, the uh, uh, soldiers at Hyde Park Corner, Jerry Adams. They are elected to Parliament. We don't do that with white Christian origin <laughs> people who do silly right. things. And okay. the brown people who have a different thing, it's the right. Bernard Manning approach to citizenship, Nick. OK, stay, 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 on the, stay on the line, if you would. Let's bring James in Manchester, Ali giving an argument as to why she should return. The girl, what would you say to him, James? Um, hello, Nick. Um, I'd say this quite clearly. Um, no, definitely not. As far as I'm concerned, it's a no-brainer. Now, let's go on to her being a teenager. For, uh, sorry, 15 or 16, she's a teenager. She went over there to help plot maim and murder our British soldiers, men and women. She's got no remorse for it whatsoever. Apparently she saw a severed head and it didn't phase her. The other point aspect is, I don't swallow all this BS that she's coming back because she's repented. She's coming back because her jihadi husband got killed in a fight. So did one of the girls that went over. Now, apart from the security as aspect that we'd, she'd be costing our uh, already stretched police force, uh, millions of pounds in security. The girl is never going to work here. Nobody's going to take her well, on in a job. Okay, so she... come back, please. We, 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 uh, don't, no, know, we don't know. Finished. We don't know. We don't know. She's finished. not going to work here. I'm, I'm, I'm... I've not finished yet, Nick. No, I, no hold on. No, James. Ja James. The no, idea no, is no. Ja James. So James. You can have your say. James. No, I want you to talk with Ali. James, sh sh you're not going anywhere. But I must allow it for balance. I've got to get. So James, you will come back. But Ali's been quiet for a long time. Okay, Ali, back to you. Ali, go ahead, sir. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, I'm not aware of her killing any British soldiers because officially there are no British soldiers fighting in Syria. Secondly, the Irish Republican Army did murder British soldiers. They murdered serving members of Margaret Thatcher's cabinet. They did not recognise the Queen. They are elected to Parliament. So it's one rule for white Christian origin terrorists or suspects or otherwise, and it's one for brown or black people, is it? My friend from Manchester? Just well, help me with well, that. Well, uh, I can get involved. Let's go to James. Well, it's quite predictable that somebody would bring the race card into this discussion. The point Just is we've got point. no idea what atrocities this woman caused. And as for these bleeding hearts that keep saying she was only 15, 16, these are exactly the same people, exactly the same people that are fighting for the 16-year-olds in this country to have a vote because they're saying that they're far too responsible, they're far too clever, and now they want it. You can't have it both ways, yeah? Right. She knew what she was doing. She went over to make so the murder. Right. Whether it was British I, soldiers no, or I, 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 it, no, OK, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, rule here. Ali... If your only argument is to liken the situation regarding the late Martin McGuinness and Jerry Adams, because it was the decision of the Queen to engage her, if that's your only argument, which then leads you to say it's because she's, she's, the girl has a brown face, I really, I, you're a very smart bloke. I, I think that argument demeans you, because there's far more going on than the fact the girl has a brown no, face. You must no, know no, that. It, it, um, uh, thank you thank you for the compliment, Nick. Look, there you are. Uh, I've spent you for a long time. The thing, the, 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 we have been, and the, the, the principal point here is if people who murdered 4,000 citizens in this country... And but then it is the I, it is the IRA, we, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Okay, so as a matter of principle, whether it's one little girl in Raqqa or whether it is uh, people who are fully co um, uh, the soldiers who are murdering people on the streets of Britain, uh, in the United Kingdom rather, the issue is very simple. 
Either you stick to your principles, or then if say so, we have one room for one bunch of people. All right, another. Ali, thank you, James. A quick response to me, then I must move on. It's because of the colour of the girl's face. James? Well, uh, it didn't take long to bring the race card in, but as far as I'm concerned, I'd go one step further. I'd rescind a passport and I'd rescind a British citizenship immediately, then there's no argument. James, thank you. Ali, thanks to you. More in a moment. This story here is quite simply a red herring. They want you to focus on this one woman, this one single woman with her baby, rather than the fact we already know there are up to 23,000 jihadis already living here. They aren't returning, they're actually here right now. They're living next door. That's the main issue. 23,000, not one woman, one 19 year old girl. No, 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 the one's already here. And crucially, the reason they are here is because of mass third world immigration post-1948 with the Windrush. I know I keep on saying it, but it has to be nailed home. That's why we have these issues. It's, it's not about the ones coming back from Syria. That's, forget about that. Now, something else that annoyed me about this story is they keep saying that she has to return because ISIS and the Caliphate have been defeated. And yes, ISIS may have been defeated, but the Caliphate is alive and well. The Caliphate is Small Heath in Birmingham. Well, actually, most of Birmingham. The Caliphate is Bradford. It is Savile Town. It is Tower Hamlets in London that we have many caliphates, many sort of small mini caliphates all over the country and they're ever increasing. We have caliphates over Europe in Paris, Sweden, Belgium, even in the United States. We have the Muslims doing stuff over there. So that's the point. The caliphate is simply the Ummah, the Muslim people. And the end goal of this, of course, is to have the entire planet be Muslim. It's very globalist in its mindset, in its outlook. That's why many people who are kind of former Islamic extremists can adopt to globalism. But anyway, so yeah, the caliphate is not this kind of sexy, exotic, uh, going to war and fighting the Christians. No, the caliphate is simply having babies. It's just literally having more babies than your opposition. That's it, it's boring. It's just, the caliphate is quite literally the woman, the Muslim woman, it's her uterus. That's the caliphate. So. Anyway, please let me know your thoughts on this. What would you do with this woman? Should we allow her back into the UK? Like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe. Please comment. Ilu Sassoon. Peace out.